whakapapata mea nui i roto te, um, te ao Māori. Uh, mai te whakapapa ka moihu um, koe ko wai koe, nō hea koe, uh, ea hu mai koe i hea, uh, ka moihu koe tō, um, tō whenua, ka moihu koe tō takiwa, tō hapu. Um, ka tīmata mai tō, tō pipeha, ara tō maunga, tō awau. Uh, heke iho ki tō, um, ki tō iwi. Ka hari i tahi ki um, tēnā marae, ki tēnā marae. He mea nui me mea kei te moiho koe tō whakapapa. Ka tāe i ākoe te hono atu, uh, ki tēnā o wō whanaunga, ki e rā wō whanaunga, uh, mai tēnā iwi, ki tēnā iwi. Uri rau, koe rā tāe koe. Tēnā koe. Ah, tika tau, uh, e, he, he, te timatanga o ngā mea katoa ko te whakapapa. So everything begins with whakapapa. And we know that our fa- we whakapapa to ngā atua. Um, and whakapapa to me is there is a collection of stories and lives and experiences and mahi and deeds and people that came before me and that's all my whakapapa. I'm here now in the present but if you look behind my shoulder you'll see all of my tupuna behind me and all of their mahi and their deeds. Yeah and, and mea au hoki, you know it is about certainly it gives you a place to stand, it gives you a right to be in a particular place and to be able to connect to as you're saying to people, to um, atua, to things, to to historic moments in time, but it also comes with roles and responsibilities. Yeah, so I think whakapapa for me, when it puts you into a matrix of relationships with people and with place, it doesn't come free. Yeah, it comes with the real need to understand then what are my roles and responsibilities in this place. Yeah, having this as a korowai of who I am and where I come from. Hmm. If we want to localise it, um, then what I would uh, say as an example of whakapapa and kura is understanding your mana whenua and learning about your mana whenua in your area. And so to understand where you are and where your school is, you are under the korowai, you are under the protection and the mana of the, the people of the land in your area. So get to know them, learn about their stories, learn about their people, learn about their marae, learn about the whenua, why are they called, why is that awa called that? Why is the manga called that? Why is that marae called that? What's the whakapapa of my area? So that would be a way for any kura to be able to engage in any learning context is to draw on the whakapapa of uh, the place where you are. Um, among a whole range of things. But equally, you know, we've got a whakapapa of our way of understanding and classifying and engaging the world. We might start with rangi and papa, right? Papa tuanuku, um, rangi nui, and all of the atua that came from that have a whakapapa. And we're, what we're trying to do is to create an understanding of who we are and where we've come from, not only physically, physiologically, but conceptually as well. And so it's really vital that we say to the, the children, know who you are, don't be whakama, don't be whakama of, you know, oh, my father's this or my mother is that. He tonga, he tonga te whakapapa, he tonga koe. So every person is important, every person is unique because they have a whakapapa.